Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another store finds and mail deliveries video. I got a lot of cool stuff to show you this week. Uh, most of it I got from Jay's Diecast Family on Facebook. He runs, uh, has a page on Facebook that does a lot of picture auctions and stuff. And I built a box with him. And uh, I just, uh, he lives not too far from me. Uh, he's in Milwaukee. And, uh, you know, he's within a two-hour drive of me, so I just figured I would uh, shoot down and meet him in person, pick up my stuff, and having, instead of having to uh, have him send it in the mail. That way I could get all this stuff uh, for you guys so you had some content to check out this week. Um, I got a few things uh, that are doubles for trading. We'll go through those first. Um, but the majority of it is all stuff from my personal collection, stuff I didn't have. So a lot of unique stuff, uh, a lot of Matchbox, uh, some Hot Wheels, picked up a Johnny Lightning, one that I already had, and then some carded stuff. So this is all from my, my box that he was holding for me. So we'll go through the carded stuff first. Uh, these two, uh, the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Uh, submarines are kind of cool. And, uh... New casting for 2016. And uh, they go, they are pretty good sellers. I just figured I would grab a couple because he had a pretty good price on them uh, to sell or trade with at uh, my local monthly meet. So uh, these two yellow submarines are available. You can hit me up on Instagram or my Facebook page if you uh, are interested. But I was planning on using them for trading or to sell locally. Uh, I also got this uh, other carded piece, this Avengers uh, 57 Plymouth Fury. As you guys know, I'm a Plymouth Fury fan, a Christine movie fan. So I have kind of a large collection of uh, Christine cars, 57 and 58 Plymouth Furies, depending on the manufacturer and who puts it out. Um, so uh, we can open this one. There's a little bit of the card art on the back. Uh, most of the other stuff I got this week is loose. So this will go into my personal uh, collection of Christine cars. Um, and uh, one of these days I'm going to have to do a casting uh, spotlight or um, car spotlight on my Christine car collection. Maybe this week if I can round it up because I have a lot of stuff from multiple uh, different brands. A lot of people make a Christine car, as they say, or 57, 58 Plymouth Fury. Uh, Hot Wheels makes it. Greenlight makes it. I think uh, Racing Champions makes it. Ertl, I think, made some. Uh, Matchbox probably made it. So there's a lot of different companies. Uh, Auto World makes a bunch. So uh, there's a lot of different companies that make this exact body style and different liveries and stuff so it's a pretty popular uh die cast body to do i don't know if it's because it was the feature car in the christine movie or if it's just was that popular back in the day but uh i uh try to grab everyone that i don't have um within reason i don't collect like every single auto world one because auto world really cranks them out so I'll uh, set that aside. Uh, then we'll quickly go through some uh, combat medics. Uh, picked four different combat medics, all at a good price, all in fairly good condition. Um, just for trading, uh, I'm a big combat medic collector, and I pretty much have every single one ever released except for four different versions, uh, except for maybe some wheel variations. Um, I'm not a wheel variation collector, and uh, the four that I'm missing are either really expensive or really rare and hard to get hold of, so I'm on the hunt for those. Uh, maybe I'll post on my Instagram the ones that I'm looking for, and you guys can help me look, or uh, you know, send me a message, give me a heads up if you find one that uh, one of the ones I'm looking for. Here's another cool combat medic. Uh, police slash SWAT livery. It's got the cool uh, uh, buzzsaw wheels. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you can leave a comment down below 
uh, what the name of those wheels are. I forget off the top of my head. I think there was like three different SWAT versions in the Combat Medic Collection. If I take a look over at my, yeah, I see at least three uh, SWAT versions. One of them was a scene machine where it had a little spyglass in the back where you could, uh, they had a little scene inside. So I'll give this one a quick spin. We got a lot of cars to go through, so I'm going to try to shoot through them quick so it's not a super long video. But all these are in pretty nice shape. Uh, the only one that uh, uh, had a little issue was this one here. Uh, has a little paint rub on one side. Not this side, but the other side. You can kind of see it has a little uh, issue there on the red stripe. I tried to just rub it off, but I think it's like scratched or marred. So those are the four combat medics I picked up. If you're a combat medic collector yourself and you're looking for these, hit me up on Facebook or my Instagram. Uh, also, here's a cool Johnny Lightning I picked up. Uh, I already have this one. This is a double. I think this is like maybe a 007 release. Uh, 75 Chevy van. Nice heavy casting. Heavy, met heavy uh, metal body, metal base. This one's got rubber tires. So, if you're a Johnny Lightning collector, uh, check out my channel. I got some playlists. Uh, right now, I believe I have every single Johnny Lightning van ever released, except for wheel variations. So, I got some videos on my channel. You can check those out. Here's another uh, uh, Hot Wheels ice cream truck. Didn't have this one. Picked it up for like a buck. Uh, the stunt version. And it seemed to be in pretty... Pretty decent uh, condition, even though it's loose. So I'm going to add that uh, ice cream truck to the uh, collection. I got a whole jammer full of them, so I got quite a few. Uh, next up, we got some more uh, Matchbox. I think this is like a newer Ford Transit. Uh, this is a livery that I did not have, International Packing Solutions, or Emmer. Didn't have this. Uh, version or livery and it looked like it was in really nice shape got it for pretty cheap I think I paid a buck for it So uh, we could take a look at the back or the bottom I should say plastic bottom Matchbox Ford Transit 2007 made in Thailand or 2006 So maybe 2007 is the year of the van and then I got another uh, another one, same body style, another Ford Transit, uh, newer Ford Transit with a different uh, livery, like a, some sort of a SWAT police livery on this one, and this uh, nice metallic blue, different wheels. Get a print's kind of small on that. Matchbox Ford Transit, made in China, copyright date 1995, and then I got uh, some more cool Matchbox, uh, pretty excited about this one, uh, I believe it or not I did not have this, uh, and you guys know how many vans I have, uh, and I'm a big fan of the Mystery Machine and Scooby Doo. Uh, for obvious reasons, I grew up watching it, um, which, you know, might be part of the reason why I'm into vans, other than other shows like the A-Team and other stuff like that. Uh, but this is uh, the four, a 4x4 four chassis version of the uh, Chevy van from Matchbox, and it's the Mystery Machine livery. And uh, I got this one pretty cheap, and it's in really nice shape. It's not chipped up or anything. Uh, probably came as part of a five pack. So glad to add this one to my Matchbox 4x4 Chevy Vans. Really cool version. One I didn't have. You would think that uh, one of these I would have had a long time ago. Next up we got a, a street street stance chevy van uh i think this is some sort of kids cartoon not really sure but i know i didn't have this livery it's got some green metallic wheels almost like it's a gre uh, green machine from Greenlight. 
uh, Jake Neverland Pirates. So uh, I'm assuming it's like a kid's cartoon or maybe a, some sort of uh, animated movie for kids. Not really sure. But I know I didn't have this one. I tried to collect one of every paint livery if I can find it. And uh, I got this one cheap and it's in really nice shape. So glad to be able to add that to the collection. Uh, next up we got a series of four... Um, uh, I guess it would call like uh, raked stance uh, Chevy vans from Matchbox. Uh, this one is an old one. This is part of a team transport. Uh, tr I think it's team convoy is what it's called. Team convoy set where it came with like a flatbed semi and a NASCAR race car. And then it had like this uh, support van as part of the package or part of the uh, the combo. So this one's in pretty rough shape. This is the Pepsi Challenger van. Um, for whatever reason, these seem to go for more money, this Pepsi Challenger version, uh, if it's in mint condition. Uh, I've seen a few on eBay, and uh, they go for uh, higher dollar amounts. So uh, this one is pretty beat up. It's not really ideal, but it would be a nice, it's a nice placeholder until I can get... Uh, a better version because like I said the uh, the ones that I saw on eBay that are mint are kind of on the pricier side so but cool version Pepsi Challenger Matchbox Chevy van uh, that was one I got from Jace Diecast family pretty much all these are so far uh, this is another one I got from Jace Diecast family this Dale Earnhardt same deal uh, team convoy uh, set. This one might have been sold individually as well. Uh, but uh, a cool one. Dave, uh, Dale Earnhardt. I think there's uh, multiple versions of this Dale Earnhardt van because it says 1991 champion. He says five time national champion. I think there are some that don't say that on it or they have different, you know, as he earned more accolade, accolades or more uh, champion wins. Uh, I think they would put out new uh, versions because Dale Earnhardt was such a popular driver. And you can see on the back it says 1991 champion. So there might be a few different versions of this, uh, I believe, with uh, slightly different graphics on it. But it was in pretty nice shape. Uh, not too badly chipped up. So, And it's one I didn't have, so I'm glad to add that one to the collection. Uh, then uh, I stopped at a hobby shop. Uh, in Milwaukee, when I uh, stopped down to pick up the, my box of stuff from Jay's Diecast family, and uh, there was an old school hobby shop that had a bunch of diecasts there for sale. Although his prices were really high, um, he had a few Matchbox Team Convoy sets loose uh, that were in mint condition, and I talked him into just selling me the van. Uh, I paid, uh, I think, six bucks a piece for these, which is kind of high, I think, uh, for just the van. But uh, when you consider I don't have to pay any shipping on it from eBay, and I don't have to, you know, uh, you know, because the Team Convoy, if you buy it on eBay, they're going to send the flatbed, most likely, and the NASCAR race car, along with this van. So the shipping is kind of high, and then you could try to liquidate those, those haulers or whatever, or the NASCAR race cars for a couple bucks to get some of your money back but it's just easier just to buy just a van and he was okay with uh selling just a van but I, like i said i paid six bucks a piece i thought that was kind of high i tried to talk him down but he was really firm on his prices but this one's in mint condition and it's another um for a loose one and uh it's another stanced uh or uh raked matchbox chevy van that I didn't have. The bodies are all exactly the same. They have the two uh, square porthole or square uh, moonroof windows in the top, in the roof, but uh, and the little portholes on the side. Uh, but it's just you either got the, the street stance, like this one here. The street stance, you got like the raked stance where it's got like the bigger wheel in the back. And then you have, uh, like, the 4x4 uh, four four 
stance or chassis. So, uh, last but certainly not least, another one of these uh, Matchbox Team Convoy vans. I believe this is uh, number 25, the Perlator. Uh, van Perlator or Superflow? Not really sure. Uh, probably Superflow. I think there's a Perlator one that I don't have. But they made quite a few of these. And uh, this one is in really nice shape. I don't think it's really uh, pretty close to mint. I don't think it's chipped up or I think it's just uh, uh, natural flaws from the manufacturer like around the roof line where the green paint meets the white. You can see it's kind of got some cracking in the paint. Uh, but I think that's just the way the tampo was laid onto the van. I don't think it's uh, scratched or chipped. I think it's just uh, factory paint flaws. Because uh, this one seems like it's in really nice shape. Uh, so another uh, stanced Kenny Schrader. Another stanched, uh, you know, raked uh, matchbox Chevy van. You know, that raked stance was real popular in the 70s. Then we got some more little tiny ones, uh, also from Jay's Diecast family. He had uh, got some, let's try to zoom in even closer. He got a bunch of little, uh, like, micro machine style. I'm not sure if these are all micro machines. I don't really know too much about them. Or if they're uh, Hot Wheels Nitro. Uh, I forget what the official name for the, like, Hot Wheels brand micro machines were. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to read. This one looks like it has a Hot Wheels logo on the bottom. Eighteen ninety nine Matchbox held together with some screws, which is interesting. Kind of a cool little van. It looks to me like a Ford Transit. But I'm not really sure. Uh, next up, we have. Uh, I'll go with this other little van. I don't. If this one. I don't think this one is a, is a Hot Wheels. I think this is a Micro Machines. This one's kind of beat up, but they are loose. It's got those uh, those wheels. Seem like they have, are Micro Machine, and it's got kind of a, a hitch on the back, which is kind of funny. I don't know what you would if they made small trailers that were this small. Let's see if we could take another look. This one does have a screw, though, like the Matchbox did. Can't really read the, the bottom too well. I don't really see a Hot Wheels logo. So, that one's kind of a mystery. Another uh, cool one is this uh, power panel miniature. I collect the the power panel. I think he had other micro machines, but I didn't bid on them all. I just uh, bid on the ones that I was interested in, like the couple vans and the other castings that I collect. This is a Dodge power panel uh, concept truck, kind of like a Suburban or a panel truck. Uh, I think they kind of similar to the Nitro that they did actually make. So it's like retro styling. You can see this one's a Hot Wheels. It's got the little Hot Wheels logo. Which would make sense because it's a... And it even says... Looks like it says power panel there maybe. On the bottom. And then we got a couple little... Um, uh, Fandangos. I collect the, uh, the Fandango casting. So here's a couple little... Fandango, uh, like Micro Machine, little tiny nitro cars. Again, with the screws in the bottom. Yep, see, it even says Fandango on the bottom. One more little Fandango. So, kind of cool to have these little micro machine style cars and just put them in my uh display cases with the rest of the uh this casting and uh it's got uh 
Fandango 2003 held together with screws. It's got a, it feels like it's a plastic body, but it's got a metal base. And that's, I think that's the way most of these are. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's all the stuff I picked up this week, or most of it. A couple of these, too. And uh, check me out on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy on Instagram. Also check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy. And uh, if you enjoyed the video today, uh, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate you guys uh, supporting me through subscribing and uh, checking out me on the other social media platforms. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day.